Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. We all know how uploading custom fonts can really make a difference for your web page. They help keep your brand identity consistent and make your page stand out. Plus, they give you more design flexibility to achieve the look you want. So let's walk through the process of adding custom fonts to a heading or a text block using our page builder. With GemPages version 7, you don't need to dig through code or deal with complex interfaces. Simply select your text element. Click on the font drop-down in the settings and choose Upload Font. You can select from our existing collection or upload your own from Google Fonts. Once uploaded, the font will appear in the Custom Fonts section, which currently supports popular types such as TTF, OTF, WOFF, and WOFF2. It's that simple. Following that, you'll notice a Recently section that displays your three most recently used fonts, making it easy to switch back and forth. Similarly, customizing the text font below is just as effortless. Simply select the text block element, access the font dropdown, and pick your preferred font. When you've finished customizing, you can see the changes on the Live page. If you ever need to delete a font, no sweat. Just head over to the font dropdown menu and scroll until you find the one you want to part with. Keep in mind that fonts currently in use won't have a trash icon displayed. Once you locate the font, click on the trash icon next to it. A confirmation notification will pop up. Simply hit Delete, and the element will go back to its previous font. Let's now explore how to upload custom fonts in Global Styles. Global Styles, as you may know, allows you to establish a consistent style for specific sections or elements across your web page. Uploading custom fonts here enables you to set default options for headings and paragraphs. The process is a breeze. All you need to do is open the Font Manager and upload your custom fonts for headings and paragraphs, just like you did for text elements. Then, after opting to apply these fonts to all pages, revisit the heading element and select Heading 1 to showcase the global style. This same applies to text blocks. Subsequently, watch as all headings and text blocks transform with the default font set in the Global Styles on the Live page. To remove custom fonts from Global Styles, you can follow the same steps as you did for text elements. After deletion, the Elements font will revert to the most recent font used before. Or here, you can select the Assistant font to return to the initial setting. And that's all there is to it! That concludes our tutorial on uploading custom fonts with GemPages. Just a quick tip, while adding custom fonts can really enhance your site, experts recommend using no more than three fonts to keep your design consistent, improve readability, and minimize loading times. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.